The delete account program offers the ability to generate a report listing accounts that have no current activity, as well as the ability to delete these accounts. The program has three options to choose from. Option 1, create a report of deletable accounts. Option 2, delete a range of accounts from a prior delete account report. And option 3 is to exit the program. In order to be able to delete accounts with the delete account program, option 1 to create the report must be run first. The report must be generated no earlier than the previous day. Delete accounts should always be run prior to deleting any accounts. If any transactions are found relating to an account, the account will not appear on the delete account report. In addition to checking the use as files, the program searches the inventory acquisition file for accounts. Checking the EIS file is optional and it's recommended not to check this file. Also, the following payroll files are checked to see which USS accounts are referenced. The account history, the pay account, the USP Curd pay, the USP Feud pay, the USP New pay, and any .batch files. Accounts associated with inactive pay account records and employees that have been flagged as concealed will be considered deletable. As a rule of thumb, you should not delete any account which does not appear on the delete account report. Option 1, Generating a Report. As previously mentioned, the option to create a report of deletable accounts must be run prior to deleting any accounts through the Delete Account program. This option generates a report, deleteaccount.txt, listing any accounts on file that have no current activity and may be deleted from the account file if you desire. This option will also create a deleteaccount.idx file that records the deletable accounts, which is used by the program when option 2 is run. The program will prompt you for the number of years of historical amounts, which is the USA HIST file, you would like to check on the history record. The minimum number of years the lead account will search for is three because of the five-year forecast, which requires three years of history for general fund and related accounts. Option two, deleting accounts. This option offers the ability to delete accounts that appear on the delete account report in a specified range. It uses the delete account IDX file, which is generated in option one, to determine which accounts are safe to delete. Any accounts deleted through delete account will be recorded on the report delac2.txt that is automatically generated under the heading Accounts Deleted. You will be prompted for the type of accounts to be deleted, cash, appropriation, budget, or revenue, and for the beginning and ending account numbers. Again, the program will delete accounts found on the delete account IDX file in between the account range that was entered. The program will ask if these accounts that appear with an asterisk, a pound sign, or a percent on the delete account text file should be deleted. It also checks to make sure that the account dollar totals are zero just prior to deleting an account. If you're deleting a cash or an appropriation account, all underlying budget and revenue accounts will be deleted as well, including any accounts with prior fiscal year expenditures or receipts. Accounts with an asterisk on the report means they have prior year history amounts within the requested number of years, but are otherwise deletable. It is up to the user to determine whether they should or should not delete these accounts. Our recommendation is to keep these accounts for general and related funds and can delete for other funds unless the district wants the historical tracking capabilities. Accounts with a pound sign on the report means they have project to date amounts are otherwise deletable. It is up to the user to determine whether they should or should not delete these. Our recommendation is to keep them unless deleting the entire cash account. Accounts with the percent sign on the report mean they have prior year history and project to date amounts but are otherwise deletable. Again, it is up to the user to determine whether they should or should not delete these accounts. The recommendation is to follow the recommendations for the previous two, the pound and the asterisk, to determine whether to keep them or not. Delete account error report. While checking the various files, if transactions are found with accounts that are not on the account master file, an error report is generated, which is delete account .error, showing the file and the key of the record containing the invalid account. Please print the error text to determine what errors were found during this run of delete account. The delete account error text contains any accounts on file not contained in the master account file. If transactions are old, you could, could ignore the errors. If they're current, add the accounts back into the account master file. Delete account is recommended to be run at the beginning of fiscal year after period H reporting is closed. It's also recommended to be run after a purge. 
So we'll go ahead and we'll do option one. During this program, you exclude the search of the accounts in the inventory acquisition file. It is recommended that you exclude them, so I'm going to say yes. I'm going to check just the previous year, three years of history. And it goes through and tells me which um, files it searched. And now I have a report that I'll take a look at. It's going to show you all the cash accounts, and then the appropriation, the budget, and then the revenue. By deleting the cash account, again, it deletes all underlying accounts, so you don't have to enter those in individually. So my first one is 0019194, and I'm going to delete to 599.94. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of here, and now I'm going to run delete account, option two. Do you wish to delete these accounts? I'm going to go ahead and say no. I'm going to say no to all of these. I want to delete the cash accounts. The beginning account number is 0019194. The ending account number is 599-9205. Again, these numbers are being pulled from my delete account text file that I just ran. This is the range that I've entered. Do I want to continue? Yes. It's deleted that account range. Do I have another account range that I would want to go through? I do not, so I'm going to go ahead and say no. This is telling me the accounts that have been deleted. It lists the cash, the appropriation, and the budget. Because I chose the cash, it automatically deleted all those underneath of it.